Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a MacBook Air. As you can see that the bottom right corner, there was an impact point right here, and it kind of like pixelated the entire screen, and I have this uh, distorted color, cracked screen that needs to be replaced. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. See if I can go ahead and shut down the computer. Uh, all right, I just go cancel on the login. The computer is still fully charged. The caps lock is on. As you can see that the, uh, the caps lock is on, I'm going to press and hold the power button until the caps lock goes away. That indicates that the uh, computer is fully turned off. All right, so the caps lock is off. Go ahead and remove the uh, adapter here. Close it up. Let's identify the model and jump right into the screen replacement. All right, the model is A2337, and this is Rose Gold. I'll be using some of the tools here, as well as my screen replacement. If you're not sure where to buy the screen replacement, what I'll do is I'll link it down in the description below. Go check it out. Um, if you are comfortable with Amazon, you can feel free to shop at Amazon or eBay. I'll link both of the uh, um, where you can buy the replacement screen and the tools as well. All right, the first thing I like to do is to remove all the screws. I'll be using a Pentalo P5. This is a Pentalo P5. The screws on the top, the four screws are much longer compared to the rest of other screws. So keep that in mind. As well as when you remove the screws, I suggest you to uh, position on a table where you can remember how to put them back together just in case if you uh, mix match the screws and need a reference. The easiest way to do, I suggest to maybe take a pictures of the computer, especially the in internal part of the computer where there are going to be a lot of missing, uh, a lot of uh, different screws. So take a picture of it, print it out. As you remove the screws, you want to put on top of the paper so that it gives you a reference on how to, um, you know, put them back together afterwards. All right, once that is done, the next step is to go ahead and open up the back cover. All I do is just go underneath that little gap here, give me enough of space, and I just pop it right up. You don't have to be worried because these two clipper here which is clipping down here right in the middle when you pop it out you can hear that little click sound which is normal okay the next step is to disconnect the battery I'm gonna zoom in down a little bit for you okay this is where you want to get a plastic prying tool go ahead and push this little clipper up okay I just used my fingernail this little metal clipper, okay, it kind of clip down and holding down the connector. So to remove it, you just have to lift it up. Once the clipper is up, you can remove the connector by simply lifting it straight up. That's all you have to do. We already disconnected the battery. Next step, I'll be using a T3. Remove that screw which is the uh, Wi-Fi screw here. So remove the bracket as well. The next step, remove this two screw. Remove the bracket, go underneath. They're just like Lego. If you go underneath, just pry it straight up and then the thing will just disconnect. All right, next step, I'll be using a T5. Mine might be a T5. You might have to use a T4 um, because my screwdriver has been with me for a long time. So they may have worn out to a point that I need to use a T5. So this might be a T4 screwdriver. So you kind of 
need to um, find the right screwdriver and match making sure the screw is not stripped when you remove it once it's done you can see that the uh, LCD board is free to go so just leave it like that and come here and remove the two screws again I'll be using a T5 this is your Wi-Fi antenna screw two of them remove it okay the next step is to disconnect the Wi-Fi cable and just go underneath and then remove the wire now this is the tricky part to remove this Wi-Fi antenna you would have to kind of wiggle a little bit until the thing comes right off because there's a adhesive tape that is taping down the Wi-Fi antenna which is not easy to remove so just take your time what you want to do is just get a plastic prying tool go underneath that thing wiggle a little bit you know make sure it's, everything is all ready to to remove take your time on this Okay, once you remove the entire thing will just pop right out. Once the thing is out, put it on the side. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Now the next step, get a T8, torque T8. Remove the three screws which is holding down the LCD screen. at this point here what you want to do is just open up the screen okay push it all the way back and and then you're going to slide the hinge out of the uh, the base just slide it out on both sides okay once it's out the entire screen will just pop right out okay here's the replacement screen what you want to do is push the hinge all the way to the back both sides of them just push it all the way in the back remove the old screen the new screen here you got to make sure that the uh, the flex cable the LCD cable is going to be on top of the uh, the computer you want to get the hinge kind of close it down and slide it in okay I'm gonna do the same here close it down and slide it in okay like such Once it's in, while you're holding the screen, you need to get one of the screw. So get one of the screw. Holding down the LCD screen. So that we can close it and finish up the rest of the repair. Okay, just like that. Put one of the screws. And again, double check the LCD cable, making sure everything is uh, sitting on top of the laptop. I'm going to come back and finish up the rest. Two screws here on the right. And uh, three, two more screws here on the left. Once that is done, this LCD board has to go 
in between go through that Wi-Fi antenna okay and making sure that this cable here is not pinched down so this thing has to be on top of it okay now while, while you're holding the uh, the Wi-Fi antenna just kind of push it down making sure that it's installed while holding it down have this two screw using a T5 and tighten it up Okay, once that is done, I'm going to close this LCD board. Okay, align the two screws here, right in the middle. I'll be still using a T5. And just close it down. And then close that LCD cable together, making sure that you take your time to close it in. They are just like Lego, you just have to snap back on together. You don't have to push it real hard. Don't force it in, just got to make sure it aligns properly and then just close it down together, okay? Now the next step, I'll be using a T3. You have the bracket to put it back on top and then use the two screws. Tighten it up, making sure the bracket is holding down the flex cable. Now some of the screen, I noticed that this screen doesn't come with it. If you take a closer look here, this screen does not come with the bracket for this and this. So what I need to do is to remove it from the original screen and transfer it over. Some of the vendor, they do comes with it and some of them don't, which is this one here doesn't come with it, which is not a big deal. All we have to do is just transfer it over from the original screen and that should do it. Okay, once you're done with that, the next process is to reinstall the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. The connector is in a circle. All you have to do is just align the circle sitting on top of each other and gently press it down. It's just the circle that matters, not the pressure or the force to push it in. So just take your time, align that circle connector on top of each other and then just gently press it in. Once that is done, Have the bracket go back on top with the screw holding it down that would uh, secure the uh, the Wi-Fi antenna now at this point making sure that the clipper this secure clipper is open it's facing on top okay it's just open facing on top and have the connector close it in so what you have to do is just kind of uh, 
slide it in uh, it's hard for me to explain it so there's a little gap here at the bottom so all you have to do is just slide the connector down like slide it in first slide it slide it down and then push it on the top to close it once it's closed push the clipper to lock it okay okay once that is all done the next step we just close up the uh, the cover it's very straightforward just align them together like such okay and then just kind of press it down especially in the middle you can hear that little click once the click is closed in and then just have the uh, pentalo p5 and install all the screws back together you do need to have the uh, the charger ready because for the first time after disconnecting the battery, you need to have the adapter to power up the laptop. So there's a little tricks that um, you would have to do. I mean, if you don't have the adapter, it's still okay. It just take a longer time for it to start up. And again, I just would like to explain and notify you guys uh, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen please check the link down description below I would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen um, as well as the tools for this repair Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it goes and then um, we'll show it to you. Make sure you get the uh, adapter for the charger as well. Plug it in. Let's turn it on. I'm going to make sure I cover up the screen. Okay, there you go. I know it's hard for you to see, but there's a display. Uh, it's kind of dark. Now, ho hopefully you guys can see it. There's a glare. You guys can see it? There's a US keyboard, right? So this screen is the background. There's a glare on, on the uh, the screen, so it's kind of hard to see but yep the full display is on uh, that should do it so thanks for watching until next time um, bye now but before I let you go I just wanted to say again uh, check the link down in the description below and if you do find this video is helpful uh, please go ahead and click on YouTube super thanks YouTube super thanks allow you to um, share your gratitude and show appreciation to support my work and support my channel uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.